Hi everyone, it's finally happening. My new telescope setup is going to have its first light today and uh, I'm pretty excited about it because with my uh, previous 200 millimeters lens um, the object choice was so limited that I think I ran out of objects I could shoot and now with my 650 millimeters telescope it's like the whole new range of objects I can choose from and uh, today I didn't want to go with the easy one I've decided to shoot uh, the Iris Nebula and uh, yeah it's pretty tiny even for uh, my new telescope but it's still much better than uh, with a telephoto lens and I'm back to the spot where all of my astrophotography journey in Portugal has begun it's uh, Monte do Viso very nice beautiful spot now it looks cloudy but all the forecasts said it's gonna be clean and uh, I'm really looking forward to it so I'm going back to where I parked my car and I will start assembling my rig So I've assembled all of my stuff and I will give you a quick tour on it but before I forgot to mention that here with me today is Miguel hey, hey. so Miguel is gonna use my old Skyguider Pro to do some astrophotography with his lens which one is this? so it's uh, 7200 f4 yeah, sorry for this <laughs> weird sound. Nine o'clock on the dot. Uh, so it's gonna be nine of them. Okay, let's wait. So it's nine o'clock. We're gonna see the Polaris soon. But yeah, before what we were talking, yeah, it's a Canon 7200 F4, F4. with a Canon 2000D. 2000. 2000D, yeah, let's see uh, what are your expectations for well, today. Hopefully, we'll get some nice shots. What uh, are you planning to shoot? Do you have any well, plan? For I want to I wanna shoot Andromeda, another take. Uh, I had my last attempt last week, didn't go so well. Also, I'll try to shoot the Milky Way Center uh, in the south. Some yeah, that's pollution, but should be fine. Yeah, hope we will get some results at least one of us so let's uh, take a look at uh, what my current setup is my new setup so this is the ioptron cem26 mount uh, i had to use my extra counterweight from skyguider pro which i'm currently selling but i haven't sold it yet so it uh, came handy for me as you can see i also had to use this weird uh, construction i bought in the uh, Leroy Merlin uh, so there is an issue apparently with the many ioptron mounts that uh, you can't properly balance it using just uh, counterweights you have to use so-called 3d balancing or third axis balancing and that's what I'm using here so what's next next is the telescope Skywatcher uh, 130 PDS with a dual speed focuser 
there's the guider uh, standard classic uh, ASI 120 uh, mini camera and the basic uh, guider scope here we have uh, Canon 450D very old one like almost 12 years old already it's uh, astro modified but it's serving me well for all those years and uh, actually the olders uh, are better in some sense that uh, because they have a large pixel and they collect more light um, which is good and i like it this is the asi air pro the great thing to have for every astrophotographer i've connected all of my stuff here through it and uh, yeah one thing i forgot to say is that mount here it has a dc output which uh, also is pretty useful to connect uh, asi air pro right uh, into it but uh, be careful with it because it's not uh, suitable for a heavy load like uh, SIR Pro plus a cooled camera but I think uh, currently it's fine like up to 3 amperes one thing to mention this uh, weird thing is basically I've used the tip from another uh, YouTube blogger to make it uh, like a cap to prevent light leaks because uh, each telescope needs to be expected uh, on light leaks and I did it with the, my Newtonian telescope it has plenty it has a, a light leaking from the back of it from the, through the primary mirror then uh, the light leak around focuser uh, around focuser tube so uh, i will have to wrap it into the foil and i even found some uh, light leaks inside the camera so yeah this is the thing you need to always be aware of don't forget to check for light leaks because they can ruin your shots so another thing i forgot to tell about is that i reworked my power management here i've uh, made it uh, myself uh, using a uh, box for tools and a uh, special panel from the Amazon I've ordered so it has a two uh, 12 volts uh, car cigarette uh, uh, inputs uh, sorry outputs and then two USB outputs and it also has this nice switch where you can see uh, what's the voltage currently on the battery to track um, how it's dis discharging and uh, everything uh, here is based on the LED battery here I also use this box to put other stuff related it's nice that it has the fuse here so if you for some reason are exceeding current and uh, yeah this battery can be upgraded to the bigger one um, i will see if uh, this uh, 12 ampere hour battery is enough uh, for running this setup but i will probably upgrade it anyway to have more confidence in it